In this video, we're going to take a look at how to derive the equation for calculating molar mass of a gas. Uh, and we're going to show how to derive this from the ideal gas law. So here we have the ideal gas law that you're so familiar with. And here we have another way of thinking of the mole. Well, how do we calculate moles usually? In other words, if we want to know how many moles of something we have, well, you know that moles equals, uh, let's say you have um, 10 grams of hydrogen, you know that we, to get that to moles, we say one mole of hydrogen is 2.02 .02 grams. And so this is the molar mass. And to get molar mass, to, to get moles, we take the mass and we divide it by the molar mass. So that's what this equation is all about. Moles equals mass divided by molar mass. So, on this slide, we've simply taken those two equations, the ideal gas law, with moles, and moles in terms of mass and molar mass, and we just substitute this right in here. Just take the stuff right there and write it over here. So, it becomes pressure times volume equals mass divided by molar mass times RT. So, our resulting equation then is PV equals mass divided by molar mass times R and T. Where this mass right here is in grams and this molar mass is in grams per mole. Now when you divide this the grams are going to cancel out because the thing in the denominator we turn it over and multiply and so this grams moves downstairs and cancels with the one that's upstairs and our unit um, of just this term mass divided by molar mass uh, ends up just being moles and you can see that when you're working the problem. So the next thing we really want to do here is to rearrange this equation to get molar mass by itself. So we're going to move molar mass up here and pressure and volume down here so that it becomes this molar mass in grams per mole equals mass in grams times the ideal gas constant times temperature, how did I change colors here, divided by pressure and divided by volume. So that's how you we get this equation that we can use to find the molar mass of a gas. If somehow we can find the mass at a given temperature and we know the pressure and volume at that temperature, if we know all of those things, we can find the molar mass of a gas. And that is extremely useful thing to be able to do.